Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to, um, so I'm gonna be making some of my substrate, so I wanna let you guys see how I do that. I'm gonna use this Vermiculite Light um, brown rice flour. And uh, I'm gonna be using, I might, if I need it, I'm gonna use uh, Midwest's um, Grow Kits, their uh, Vermiculite. Light. Uh, so we'll see how that works. But I'm gonna be using this first to start off with. What you're gonna need in this is you're gonna need your mixing bowl, a fork, a cup, measuring cup, and a little spoon. Um, of course your jars, you're gonna want some napkins and I'll show you what you need, these are important. Um, and then a hammer, your nail, uh, a cardboard piece, that way you, when you're nailing it you don't damage anything. Um, and then water, you're gonna need some dis uh, some distilled water I use. So this is how I do the, the lids, I just get a nail and I poke a hole through there. I put five of them in there. Um, a lot of places you'll notice they just put the outsides and I, I put the nail in there and kind of open it up or twist it around. That opens uh, the, the hole a little bit. See this one's kind of tight so I'll just twist it like that and that'll open it up. And you do that with all of them. This one I already did. I already did everything else. I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. Um, so you can see I put five holes in there, one in the center. Everybody else puts the outsides but um, I've heard people doing it this way too so I'm gonna try it they say that it's it's good to put a little bit of spore solution in the middle of the cake so um, we're gonna see how I, I've already done this like this so I don't know how it works but um, you guys can see how it works so I'm since I'm done with that I don't need the nail or the hammer this cardboard piece here so I'm get this somewhere else all right so let's talk about the jars also um, after you do the nail I like to get a little bit of of alcohol here, get a little dab on a piece of napkin, and uh, just kind of just give it a dab here, you know, just on the back, because you don't know what that nail, how dirty that nail is, and it just causes less problems. So I just give a little dab of alcohol. Make sure you don't want to put uh, the napkin will stay there because there's little burrs there that are sharp, and it'll, so you gotta be careful. But just do that on 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 the bottom and the top. And I just set them over here till I'm ready. Now the jars um, are important to understand that you know there's two different type of jars. Let me move this over so you see. There's this type, you know, that you can see you you obviously seen many of these ones. And then there's a mouth wife, mouth um large mouth, I believe it is. That's what they call it. And a wide mouth jars, which with you gotta think, if you put sand in here and you dump that sand out, it's not going anywhere, it's gonna stay in there because there's a curve. So that's what you don't want these jars because you're not going to be able to use them. You're not going to be able to get that vermiculite, the cake out. So you make sure you buy the large mouth jars that are they're straight. That way, if you put sand in here, and I'm using that as a, just you know an example, I could dump that sand out. So that's how the cake is going to work. So do not you buy these. I, I had these, so I'm, I wanted to show you guys, explain. But um, these, see, I bought three different sizes. I bought, you know, the the I think these are uh, quart, one quart, and these are half a quart, and I got these little small ones. Uh, so I'm gonna be using the half quarts and these kind of eight ounce ones, I believe those are, for this run because I have not used those ones. So let's get everything here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get super Mickey light. You know, just, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it's two parts. You gotta think it's gonna be two parts for Mickey Light, one part uh, brown rice flour, and then one part distilled water. Okay, so I got two cups. I'm gonna put four cups in there, just so I have enough to mix up. Three, a little bit more here, and then four. All right. Start away. And then, okay. and then I'm gonna get the, the flour. I'm gonna get two cups of that. Kind of just even it out. And then one last cup. Okay, not to be all perfect, but you don't want to use too much. Okay, so um, I would I usually get the fork. I mix up the, st uh, the the dry ingredients. Important, mix them up first because you put that water in there, it's act like pancakes. It's gonna be harder to mix. So we mix up the dry ingredients really well with the fork. Make sure you clean up the fork. I put, I swap it with alcohol just to get any kind of anything you don't want, you know, in your in your batter or in your substrate, I should say. 
even though you're going to be sanitizing these and, and, and putting them in, in either a pressure cooker or a soup pot, and I'm going to be using a soup pot. Um, I don't have a pressure cooker, so I'm going to be using something that I learned and it works. Been known by people who have been successful at it, so pressure cooker is going to be a, a you know, I was guaranteed way of sanitization because you know how they work, but. The soup pot works good. It's just steaming. It's all you're doing is steaming the pots, the, the, the jars. Okay, so you can see that I'm mixing up and you can see it's everything's mixed up. You can see the white flour and, and it's, you know, it's, everything looks pretty good and mixed. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the water. Let me grab some water here. Okay, so I'm using, I'm going to be using bottled water since I don't have any distilled water, but I would prefer definitely using distilled. So I'm going to put one cup in. Don't use tap water because you don't know how much the, 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 cal, uh, there's stuff in your tap water. Unless you really need to and you don't have this water, but um, just put a little bit in there. I'll mix that little bit up. You know, it's like cooking. So you know, put the rest of that one in there and just kind of give it a mix. All right, you'll see clump in, but if you stuck the the, the all, everything in at once, it'd be a lot harder for the the clumping would be a lot a lot larger, and it's just because because of that brown rice flour, you know, if you put flour in water, it's gonna be dough. So you don't want dough. Okay, so that looks really good mixed up. So I'm putting two cups of water, a little bit, mix it up. That way you're not totally saturating it. It's it a little easier. Let me mix that up before I stick the rest of the half a cup in there. And you can see it's coming along pretty, pretty good here. Okay, put the rest of it in there. And that's going to be done with all the ingredients. You know, this is just a quick way of doing it. This is known. This is how you, you do the substrate. People will put extras in there, like, you know. Um, rye berries, honey, whatever, bee pollen, whatever they use. There's a couple other places that do that, but I haven't had any, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, that, that's cool that people use all those, those extra berries and stuff like that's probably nice, but I don't know if it's gonna help the, the mushrooms be more potent or if it's gonna help them grow, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna be doing, that's my experience, my ex experiments that I'm doing here so I can learn the right way, learn the, you know, the, the best way that way I could keep doing it so right now I'm gonna be doing it this way until I learn until I have the, the, the other ingredients to start doing that all right so it looks good you can see I mean it looks like it it, it looks like a wet sand you want to let it clump up you don't want it to you know be wet you want it to be a little dry it's like if you're at the beach in the, the sand you you know what it, you know what it should feel like so that's and you can test it you know put it in your hand and see you know it clumps up but other than that, okay, so we're ready to start the jars. Okay, it's kind of messy, but you, know, you could do it. I'm just doing it fast, but okay. Let me put this over here on this plate. Now I'm going to be used filling up these jars first here. You just stick it in there. Do not pack it down. Just stick it in there nice and, you know, just, just fill it up very light, lightly. A little airy and um you know just kind of even it out do not fill it up to the top fill it up to about right there where the bottom line is at. i would fill it up there okay that one's done stick these eggs somewhere where you can access them all the lids so do this one now, i'm gonna do a couple of them i'm not gonna have you sit here and watch me do all these jars even though i don't edit my videos so that's why so i'm just gonna show you guys okay so i'm gonna do two jars and after that i'll let you guys go but you want to um just barely softly touch the edges just so it gets down there you don't want to push it down just so it's on the, on the outside edges you got it like, you know it's all flat you know really softly Okay, you don't like I said. You don't want you want this airy. It's gonna it's gonna make the mushrooms go faster. Now the napkins are very important that that you wipe down the edges or the top. You see that with the napkin, a, a clean napkin, that's gonna cause you know less problems in the you know future. You don't want all that contaminants if there is them. You want them 
wiped off of there. Otherwise, they're, they're not going to go anywhere. They'll just stay there. So let's just give it a good wipe around. All right, then we're going to go with, um, let me fill this up here. Let me wipe this off. I'm going to go with the dry Vermiki light. So let me grab some dry right here. Okay. So we'll get some dry. I guess you sprinkle it on top. That's going to be your, your, your top layer of Vermiki light. That's very important as it acts like a, a filter, you know, a barrier to keep any other contaminants out. Because I don't put, I don't leave the foil on my jars. Other people do, but I like the gas exchange. It's very important to have that. And um, without that, you could st the, the growth, the mycelium growth will, could stall. So you just want a little layer right there, and then I just kind of, you know, like kind of give it a little tiny shake. It's a little shake. See what I'm doing here, shaking it, and then that'll it'll make it flat. All right. Then I will give it another little tiny wipe down before I stick the the lid the lid on. So you can see I'm just giving it the outside edge a wipe. Right here too. Okay. And then we'll put the lid on here. Give it another little wipe down. Okay, so there's this lid and then there's this lid. Put the rings on. You want you don't want that the top the top layer of Vermiculite like going too far up, otherwise you know you're gonna have trouble sticking the lids on. Stick them in not you don't want to tighten them too tight, just you know. I would I've snug them went until after I'm done with the um, with the sterilization process so this is um, I'll be putting using these and I'll be putting them in this in this pot right here that over so you can see this I don't know if you can but um, and I'm gonna take the camera off of here right now let me take it the camera off for you guys so you guys can check this out so I'm almost done so I put um, you know, I got one of these little pans here, and I, I did the, the whole drilling because I didn't want to go to the store and buy one. But you want to buy some type of steamer, you know what I mean? So I'm going to put it on the bottom so the jars do not touch each other. And then I'll just stick these jars on the edge like this. And I'll stick all of them in there so you guys can see how I'm going to stack them. I'll do that all the way around. And then you can stack them like that. And then I'm going to get these small ones that I have right here. These small ones, and I'm going to stick them right here. And I'm going to stack those three high. As you can see, they will they will stack. You just got to be very careful. They won't drop. And bam. Once I do that, it will, there'll be, of course, more. I have more over there. But once I do that and it's all filled up and everything's, you know, you know, in there nice and neat. Nothing's touching the edges. The jars could touch each other. Nothing's touching the bottom. You want to fill up the water just down to... Um, the, the bottom of the you know where the holes are on the, the, the steamer N barely not even touching the bottom of the glass jars then you're gonna want to stick it on high heat put the cover on once the water's in I've put the, the, the bottled water distilled water put it on high heat until it boils once it's done boiling you want to uh, simply turn it down until it's not a boil where it's popping bubbles are popping everywhere you want it like a, a royal a royal boil I, I keep I keep um, on mine I keep it down to about three on, on mine and you can monitor it and don't keep opening it but once you get that boil down to where you, you feel it's 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 right then um, then just leave it there and then you want to wait about I'd say about an hour and a half it's about an hour and 20 minutes but I'm gonna give it an hour and a half um, check it once between that time just to make sure the water is not you know it's not empty because I've had it when I'm almost done it's almost been empty and almost burned my jars so stick a little bit of water in there uh, in the halfway point and that way you know you don't and then I would stick it on there bring it to a boil and then redo the, the time for the rest of the remaining minutes and then once that's done and the, the time's up, you let them sit for overnight. Just leave them in there. Don't move them. It's on the stove. Leave them in there. And then the next morning, you're ready for your inoculation. Now I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to be inoculating these jars tomorrow with um, some um, golden teacher. I have some Malaysian, but I think I want to use the Malaysian for some substrate bags. Um, so the golden teacher, I'm interested in trying to... to um, to see what how fast that actually um, grows and you know everything that happens with that that process because I've already done the Hawaiian and I've already done um, the PF classic so golden teachers next I'll be inoculating these jars tomorrow 
and I will let you guys know how I do it. I'm going to be using the oven method, um, which real quick, the oven method, there's two methods. There's a glove box that they use as a steel box. Um, I use the oven, stick your oven on for 375, leave it for 20 minutes. That'll sanitize it. But well, before that, I spray it with um, inside with Lysol spray, really good. Let it, let it air out. Then stick the oven on for three, um, 375 for 20 minutes. That'll sanitize it, lower it down to 275. Um, leave it there for 10 minutes. Once that happens, you start doing your inoculation. And what that does is the heat from that oven is gonna keep spores, any contaminants out because it's gonna push them away. Um, so this is a, a foolproof 99% they, I've heard. I, 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 so I'm using it. So I'm not gonna use any other way. The steel boxes is too much of a pain. So if you have, uh, I'm gonna let you guys see when I do that tomorrow, in case you guys have any concerns or questions. Other than that, um, you could buy this at Lowe's, nine bucks. This at any store, and then, um, and then that's pretty much it. Steam pot it. That's my method. Not pressure cook it. Um, I'm gonna use this until I could afford a pressure cooker, at least a nice one. I'm not wasting money until until I figure this is out 100% before I start investing anything else. But you guys got it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.